Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy, Nasty Moto, and we are back at it again with the Bob build. This is part seven, I believe. So things are getting pretty serious and we are about to start mixing up some epoxy and start filling gaps. I'll show you guys what we are working with here in a minute. But yeah, no, uh, first time mixing epoxy. It's gonna be definitely, you know, be a learning curve for sure. And if you guys see any major mistakes or, you know, just you wanna help me out a little bit, definitely leave them down in the comments below. But yeah, no, I'll show you guys uh, what we're working with today. All right, so I did do a little bit of off-camera work just to kind of help speed the process up. Some of the things I did was put some more of that angle aluminum on the inside, so right there and right there, just to kind of help brace, you know, the whole uh, motor compartment or, you know, where the motor is going to sit. I guess you could call it like a, you know, engine cradle, whatever you want to call that. But yeah, it's going to help brace that a little bit better. And then I also... Went ahead and sanded everything with 60 grit sandpaper. I went ahead and talked to the US composite uh, like sales representative guy, and they said that I can go right over fresh gel coat as long as it's in good condition. So as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. This part, not really sure, and but it's gonna be okay either way. I sanded it down, and that's the you know pretty much the best I can do. So yeah, we got the uh, U.S. Composites, like I showed in the last video, and we got the 4 to 1 hardener. So we're going to go ahead and mix some of that up and then mix it with the aerosol, uh, the cabosil. This is what I was told to, you know, make it super thick, kind of like a peanut butter um, type of consistency. So we're going to go ahead and mix some of that and then just start filling these gaps. So oh, I also went ahead and put some parchment paper under there, as you can see, you know, kind of to help fill the gap so it sits in there a little bit better. But yeah, no, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead and start, you know, take our cup, start putting the correct ratios in, and then mix it with the cabosil and see what kind of, you know, consistency we can come up with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prime these. These are fresh and they haven't been primed yet, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and prime them, get all the air out. That one is good to go. Same with the hardener. And this is a four to one ratio. So one pump of hardener with four pumps of epoxy. It's pretty tough to push down. But yeah, so that is primed. So those are both good to go. And now we're just gonna go ahead and mix them up in the yeah, cool. All right. One, two, three, and then four. Two, one part harder. And this is the fast stuff because I thought it was going to be colder, but uh, it's not. It's actually pretty warm today. So I'm not sure on the type of working time that we're going to have with this stuff, but we can only see. I mean, this is my first time ever doing this. So either way, it's going to be a learning curve, but we will just have to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up really good. Try to get all the sides and just get it good even mix and it'll help because we're going to be mixing it a little bit more anyways so i don't know maybe that much I don't know, we'll see i don't know if i added too much what do you guys think i don't know if you can see that it's that type of consistency. I don't know. I really don't know if that's too much or not. But I'm going to keep stirring around. A little mixed up. And uh, probably go ahead and throw it in the ski. Throw it on the bottom. 
All right, so I already cleaned the surface with acetone and I've been stirring this thing for a while now. It's pretty good consistency, I think. Like I said, I'm not really sure, but it's pretty, pretty thick. So uh, I think it'll be just fine for filling gaps. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, apply some, see what happens. So we just got all those gaps filled. As you can see, it ended up taking two parts um, to completely fill all those gaps. And as you can see, it's still, you know, kind of uneven, kind of like a weird shape. So I'm really not sure how we're gonna, you know, conform that and make it smooth, um, just so there's no drag on the bottom of the ski. We may end up having to, you know, fill it every, you know, fill all this in with that thickened epoxy stuff. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna have to see how that cures. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So while that cures, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this nose piece. I'm gonna sand the inside and the outside and then hit it with acetone, then probably put some parchment paper on the out or on the inside, I guess. And then that way we can, you know, put some cloth and then chopped mat over. So that way we can fill it in, get a good thickness, and that nose piece will be super strong. So Let's go ahead and uh, start sanding that and then, you know, prep and then hit it with some mat. All right, so I'm actually gonna scratch the front end idea for now. I really think I should work on the contour, the shape of it. Uh, I've already sanded this whole thing down, um, hit it with acetone, dried it off, and it is ready to go. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start laying some um, mat in there and see what kind of shape I can get. So let's hit it.
So we just got the first couple layers on and as you can see, the shape is actually coming out really nicely. Uh, some of this stuff is already dry, so I think it's looking you know, pretty good. Um, definitely an experience laying you know, fiberglass the first time, uh, but it's turning out really good. So I'm thinking um, that we're gonna go ahead and start filling the rest of these gaps with some of that thickened epoxy and then probably put some uh, mat, kind of like what we did right there, start putting that on the edges to help seal that. And then I think we will be ready to sand the whole thing over once more and then start laying the cloth on. So let's go ahead and uh, mix some of that thickened epoxy up and start filling those gaps. All right, guys, so a few things to note on the bob build that I really didn't show on camera. Uh, the gel coat actually started to peel off on the SMC part, the 300SX part. So as you can see here, I stripped this whole side, the whole bottom and the other side, and you know, just take a, I just took a razor blade to it and some heat, and it strips right off, which is, you know, it's a really good thing. Um, I did was just gonna go ahead and sand it and then uh, fiberglass over that. But now that I think of it, probably wouldn't have held up, uh, you know, very well. So it's a good thing that it happened and that the uh, gel coat is all off now. The Wave Blaster gel coat is in really good condition. So I don't think you need to worry about that. It's not peeling or anything. But uh, yeah, a lot of progress has been made on this. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let it cure so I can sand the whole thing down again and start putting the cloth or start putting the mat and then the cloth on top of it. So I'm thinking like three to four layers of the cloth and we should be good to go. All right guys, so like I just said, yeah, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, really helps me out and make sure you are subscribed as well. So make sure to stay tuned. A lot of progress is happening in this Bob build and before we know it, it's gonna be on the water. So thank you guys so much for watching.